Recording in progress. Good evening and welcome to the September 30th meeting of the Lowell License Commission. Secretary Pires, was the meeting posted? Yes, it was. Roll call, please. Commissioner Dakota. Here. Commissioner Donahue. Here. Commissioner Howe. Here. Commissioner Krieger. Here. For present. Number one on the agenda, please. Zeroth is the acceptance of the September 16th, 2021 minutes. Move for approval. approval by Commissioner Krieger. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Howe. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Next, number one, please. Application by Brood Awakening Coffee House, Andrew Jacobson, manager, for a special events permit for amplified outdoor public entertainment for a Kappa Delta Phi fundraiser to be held on Saturday, October 23rd, 2021, from 5 to 8.30 p.m. on Brood Awakening's patio, 61 Market Street. Good evening. State your name for the record. Andrew Jacobson, Brood Awakening Coffee House. Andy, how you doing? Good. What's going on? Are you a Kappa Delta Phi alum? Or? No. <laughs> no. Uh, 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 actually, one of my employees is, uh, <laughs> okay. is a member there. So Tell us about your event. Um, so, yeah, so it's just basically going to be a, a similar to like when we had one just a couple months ago, a smaller fundraiser event. They want to just do some raffles or silent auctions, okay. um, help raise some money for their chapter as well as their national chapters um, organization for the uh, for suicide prevention organization. So there might be one or two um, uh, singer, songwriter, guitarist, mm -hmm. um, which is what the amplification is for. Um, but otherwise, they, were, they said they're expecting like maybe 30 people or so to come about. You already have, a, you already have that room out there anyway. So exactly, yeah. Okay. So they'll be either under the tent or within the normal boundaries. Very good. Questions from the commissioners? Move for approval. Move for approval by Commissioner Howe, seconded by Commissioner Krieger. All in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Aye. Andy, always Thank do a good job. Thank you very much. Nice job. Next, please. Application by the Arts League of Lowell, Steve Cyberson, President for the for two special one-day licenses to sell dispense wines only. The first is for the Without Borders Solo Fronteras Artist Reception at the All Arts Gallery, 307 Market Street on Saturday, October 2nd, 2021, 3 to 5 p.m. The second is for the Alone Together Artist Reception at the All Arts Gallery, 307 Market Street on Saturday, November 13th, 2021 from 3 to 5 p.m. State your name for the record, sir. Steve Severson. How are you, Steve? Very good. Very good. Here How are again. things going? Good. Very doing good. well over there? Yeah, we're doing okay. Hanging in there. Pardon me? Hanging in there, huh? And hanging in there. Keep trying. Very good. Um, same as same as all your other events, these two, pretty much? Same as all of them. Yeah. Same as all of them. All right. Questions or comments from the commissioners? Move for approval by Commissioner Howe, seconded by Commissioner Donahue. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Steve, always do a good job. Thank you. Take care. Uh, question on getting the certificate because our gig is on Saturday. Mm -hmm. I'll email it to you. Great. Thanks, John. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Steve. Andy, take care. Next, please. Application by ARA Mark, Ashley Roper, manager, for two special one-day licenses to sell, dispense malt beverages and wines only. The first is for the Costello Ribbon Cutting at the Costello Athletic Center, 175 Riverside Street, on Friday, October 15th, 2021, from 5 to 7 p.m. The second is for the Hall of Fame dinner at University Crossing, 220 Pawtucket Street, on Saturday, October 16th, 2021, from 5 to 7 p.m. Is Ashley here? John, put it at the end of your agenda. 
do the next I'm, one. I'm, I'm oh. in here in place of oh. Ashley. Oh, and who are you? Uh, Tabitha Garnett. How are you, Tabitha? I'm good. Ashley doesn't like us, or what's going on? Uh, she had, uh, it was her daughter's first grade open house, so I, I'm filling in. That's no excuse. <laughs> All right, so um, Costello Ribbon Cutting and a Hall of Fame dinner? Yes. Okay, how many people are we talking about here? Um, the Hall of Fame dinner is uh, 120, and Costello uh, Ribbon Cutting is uh, about the same. I think it might be 150. Okay, and we have the appropriate people bartending for that event, I would imagine? Yeah. Yep. Very, very good. Questions or comments from the commissioners? Move for approval by Commissioner Donahue. Seconded by Commissioner Krieger. All in favor signify by saying aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. All set, Tabitha. Good job. Thank you. Tabitha and Mark. I know it, Tabitha. And then her picture didn't come through. She's hiding. Right. Next, John. Public hearing on the application by Holy Ghost Society, All Alcoholic Beverages Club Licensee, for a change of license manager to Nelson Vega for premises at 65 Village Street. Good evening. State your name for the record. Nelson Vega. Hey, Nelson. How are you? Not bad. Yourself? Good. Where's the present manager? Uh, not here. Not here. How many uh, managers have we had here in the last two or three years? The last time we switched was about six or seven years ago. Change of manager was six years ago? Are you sure about that? Not positive, but no, I don't. I don't think you're correct. All right, Nelson, tell us about yourself. What would, what would you like to know? I want to know what kind of experience you have that you're going to be the manager of the Holy Ghost Society. I've run uh, many different restaurants. They pull down your mask for me and, and lift many, up the mic. I've run uh, a few different restaurants in uh, in the city. Um, I've also I've run many different types of businesses. Okay. I'm also the vice president of the club. Very good. All right. Um, you said you own some restaurants in the city? I'm sorry? You said you own some restaurants no, in the I've, city? I've ran some. You ran some? Yeah. All right. Which ones did you run? Uh, I've worked at uh, Friends Restaurant. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Pizza Hut I ran for a few years in Nashua. In what capacity? I was a uh, store manager. Okay. All right. I'll yield the floor to the commissioners. Questions? Commissioner Howe. Are you TIP certified? Yes, I am. Thank you. Commissioner Krieger. My, that was my question. Commissioner Donahue? Yes. Uh, recently, there was some confusion, I think, with the, uh, having outdoor affairs or a party, and there was no planning for it or no application made at the time because was it the, there was a lack of a manager? Uh, and, uh, no, what had happened? What happened? We, yeah. we put in the... Uh, we had put in the application for our liquor license, but due to COVID, everything was closed, so we weren't able to get it. So we were told that we could run with the license that we had. And then we just completely slipped our mind about actually putting in for the new one when everything opened up. Because the club had been closed for almost a year, so nothing was really going on there. Okay. Are all your uh, offices of the of the club now in place? Yes. Okay. And have they, in the positions they're in, what is it, president and vice president? Uh, president, vice president, treasurer, and secretary of the four offices. Have they been in their positions or been members of the club for a period yeah. of time? Yes. Yeah, the, the secretary and the uh, treasurer have been on the board for five or six years. Uh, the president, uh, two or three years, and me, four years. Okay. All right, thank I've you. Been a, I've been a member since I was 18. Well, I know it's been around. I can hear the music on a good summer night coming from there. So, uh, And I know over the years it's been a, a good social place. It has. Uh, oh, I, I was just concerned over the problems that we had recently with the application for uh, outdoor affairs. Thank you. Secretary Pye, is everything in order on the application? I'm sorry? Is everything in order in the application? It is. It, it everything's is. good. Okay. I appreciate that. All right, Nelson. Um, looks like the commissioners are, seem to be all in favor. Um, what is the wish of the body? Move approval. Move approval by Commissioner Krieger, seconded by Mr. Commissioner Howe. Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Don. Oh, I apologize. Thank you. Oh, that's the first yes. time I've ever done that. <laughs> 
At this time, we'll open up the public hearing. Any, anybody like to speak in opposition? In opposition? In opposition? Hearing no one, that portion of the public hearing is closed. Anybody like to speak in favor? In favor? In favor? Hearing no one, that portion of the public hearing is closed. There's a motion on the floor by Commissioner Krieger. It was seconded by Commissioner Howe. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Nelson, best of luck over there. Do a, good, do a good job, right? Thank you. We're going to take a one-minute break. Uh, I believe that LTC is having a little problem with uh, video and audio, so I'm just going to give them an extra minute here. Test, test, test. Secretary Pai is next on the agenda, please. Public hearing on the application by 99 restaurants of Boston LLC, all alcoholic beverages restaurant licensee, for a change of officers for premises at 850 Chelmsford Street. Attorney Anyone here representing 99 Restaurant? Attorney Elizabeth Hi. Pisano. Good, Hi. Good, good evening, Attorney. How are you? State your name for the record, please. Good evening. Elizabeth Pisano from Upton, Connell, and Devlin, um, 112 Water Street, Boston, Massachusetts, and we are counsel for the 99. Great. So, what do we tell us what we're going to be doing here tonight? This is just a change of LLC manager. Uh, Goodlow Parti has left the company and is being replaced by Wendy Harkness. Uh, there's no other changes but this one switch of uh, LLC manager, chief administrative officer, and secretary. Fine. Commissioner, uh, Secretary Pius, all in order? It is. Very well. Wish of the body? Public hearing. Oh, public hearing. Really? Okay. At this time, at this time, we'll open up the public hearing. Anybody like to speak in opposition? In opposition? In opposition? Hearing no one, that portion of the public hearing is closed. Anybody like to speak in favor? In favor? In favor? Hearing no one, that portion of the public hearing is closed. Wish of the body is motion by approval by Commissioner Krieger, second by Commissioner Howe. All in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Attorney, thank you very much for your presence. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Public hearing on the application by Cafeto Corporation, Carolina Sermano Apuegi, manager for an all alcoholic beverages restaurant license for premises at 1018 Gorham Street. Applications for common viddlers and entertainment in a licensed establishment are included in this submission. Good evening, state your name for the record, sir. Good evening, Chairman. Uh, my name is Attorney Michael Zim. I'm here with uh, Carolina Sermano Apuegi. Uh, who is the proposed manager of record and one of the directors of Capetto Corporation, uh, hoping to open up a business at 1018 Gorham Street here in Lowell. How are you? Doing well, how are you? Good, you excited? Very excited. Yeah, tell us what you've done to the place. Uh, so we actually signed the lease and we started working on it since May. Uh, we worked on it since May and we actually just finished renovating, doing all the work. Um, we're all first generation, so we're very excited to just bring something new to Lowell. Uh, we're Colombians, so we're doing Colombian food. Um, and obviously Colombians like a lot of soccer, so we're hoping we can offer that as well um, with the liquor. Very good. This is the old uh, barbecue place, right, Mike? 
Yes. Yeah, okay. I think all right. Before that, it might have been the train view. I, I'm not, I don't remember that at all, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it looks very different. I bet, yeah. You've done some nice, that, nice things inside, yeah? Very well. Good. Good for you. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? And uh, sure. Um, so, like I said, we're all um, first generation. We're all Colombian. I came here when I was 11. I joined the Army when I was 20. I uh, came back after a few years. I uh, met my husband. And um, then we have our friend and his dad who are going to be they're part of um, the corporation as well. And we just kind of chipped in and put all of our savings into this right after the, pan um, the pandemic. And we good. decided to just go for it, and that's what we're doing right now. It's a good immigrant story. That's what Lowell's all about. Mm -hmm. Very good. Questions or comments from the commissioners? Wish of the body. Uh, oh, public. you want to do that? Okay. Can I ask a question, Mr. Commissioner Donahue? Donahue. You may have something to say. <laughs> Commissioner Donahue. Uh, as you're going to be the manager, is that correct? You, uh, my uh, attorney's aim, the tape certified. Uh, yes, yeah, they've, they've um, actually gotten just about every certification you can, even some that aren't even required. There's a crowd management, even though they don't meet that, that requirement. Um, Carolina and um, Jonathan are both TIP certified. Um, the other two start their course on um, Monday and Tuesday, respectively, to get the TIP certified. They've got choke, they've got the choke strip, they've gone through with the city. Uh, with the um, serve, safe, serve, serve safe, the choke, serve, choke safe, all of the things for the food service aspect of it. So now they're working on the, the uh, finishing up with the alcohol part. Of it. Uh, they're going to be serving food? They, yes, uh, they what kind of a menu will that be? It's Colombian cuisine is what I'm told. Mm. Okay. I've seen some pictures <laughs> of some of the, the potential dishes and look appetizing. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. Vegetarians need not apply, or? We do have a lot of Oh, food. very <laughs> good. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. <laughs> very good, good. All right. We'll open up the public hearing. At this point, does anybody like to speak in opposition? In opposition. In opposition. Hearing no one, that portion of the public hearing is closed. We'll open up the public hearing. Anybody like to speak in favor? In favor? In favor? Hearing no one, that portion of the public hearing is Closed. There's a motion on the floor by Commissioner Donahue. It's seconded by Commissioner Howe. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? We want to wish you the best of luck in your new endeavor, and I know you'll do a great job. Thank you. Attorney Zame, have a good evening. Thank you so much. Public hearing on the application by Lakeview Liquors Incorporated, Jayesh Kumar Patel, manager, for transfer of an all alcoholic beverages package store license for premises at 815 Lakeview Avenue. Good evening. State your name for the record, sir. Good evening, Mr. Chairman. Attorney Brian Occasion uh, from the law office of Kevin J. Murphy, 1 Courthouse Lane in Chelmsford, Massachusetts. I'm here representing uh, the petitioner, Lakeview Liquors, Inc., and with me is the proposed manager, uh, J.S. Patel. Uh, this is for a transfer of an all-alcoholic beverages package store license uh, for the address at 815 Lakeview Avenue, Lowell. It is from the Liquor Shack, Inc., to Lakeview Liquors, Inc., a newly formed corporation. Mr. Uh, Patel is the principal of that corporation. Uh, Mr. Patel right now holds two licenses within the city of Lowell. Uh, he's held the one on Middlesex Street. Um, the gas station is there with the Wendy's uh, since 2012. He holds, currently holds a license on Brand Street, which uh, when Attorney Murphy was here, you approved the transfer a couple weeks ago. And then he holds a license in Drake it on Lakeview Ave. Um, so since 2012, he's held two of those licenses, 2016, the other license. There's been no violations at all um, in all his years um, holding licenses. He goes back uh, until about 2006 managing stores and businesses. He has a um, degree from the University of Massachusetts Lowell. Grew up in Drake it, lives in Westford, trying to get him back to Lowell, but he lives in, uh, lives in Westford now <laughs> and um, has run successful businesses in the city and, like I said, no violations whatsoever. Um, so we're looking uh, that he be, uh, the transfer be approved and Mr. Patel be appointed manager of that entity. Well done, Mr. Occasion. You should be the chairman of a license board one of these days. <laughs> You're right. 
more important. How's the hockey team look? Uh, we'll, we'll be all right. You're going to be yeah. okay? All right. Mr. Patel. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Patel, I know your, represent, your reputation precedes you. You've done a good job. Um, I have no problem with this at all. I, I'll yield the floor to the councils, the councils, the commissioners. Same. I want to thank Attorney Occasion. Well done. Commissioner Krieger. Commissioner Donahue. Motion on the floor to, to uh, approve. No, no, no. Oh, man. I, you know, as a former chairman of the license, <laughs> there's this thing called the public hearing. Uh, <laughs> oh, jeez. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate that. <laughs> At this time, we'll open up the public hearing. Anybody like to speak in opposition? 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 Hearing no one, that portion of the public hearing is closed. At this time, we'll open up the public hearing. Anybody like to speak in favor? In favor? In favor, hearing no one, that portion of the public hearing is closed. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> motion by Commissioner Howe, seconded by Commissioner Krieger to approve. Yes. 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 Thank very you very good. much. All right. Thank Mr. You. Patel, best of luck in your new venture again. You do a great job with the, your other businesses. Wish you well. Thanks right. a lot. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Public hearing on the application by KNY Lowell Incorporating, Incorporated doing business as BBQ Chicken. Tao Chen Manager for a transfer of an all alcoholic beverages restaurant license for premises at 143 Merrimack Street. Good evening. State your name for the record. Good evening. My name is David Bovier. I'm an attorney. My office is at Middle, uh, Market Street in Lowell. I'm here tonight representing KNY Lowell Inc., which is a Massachusetts corporation. And the, uh, they have applied for a transfer of a liquor license for the premises at 143 Merrimack Street. And the proposed manager is with me tonight. His name is Teo Chen. They uh, propose a transfer of the existing liquor license to their corporation. And uh, they've also applied for entertainment license and a common victual license. They plan on, if the uh, license is approved, they plan on operating a Korean a barbecue style restaurant in the premises. Uh, the premises used to be La Boniche restaurant. Most recently, it was the Lowell Burger Company. It's been vacant for a while, so I, it's pretty close to here. I believe you're all familiar with the property. Mr. Chen is well qualified. Uh, He's been in the restaurant business for 17 years. He's uh, served liquor for 12 years. He has uh, a TIPS certification since 2019. Uh, he also is the uh, manager of an existing restaurant which holds a liquor license uh, in Boston called Great Taste Restaurant. So he and his, his uh, partners here tonight, Hyun Yoon, uh, plan on operating the restaurant, serving a Korean style chicken. And uh, they have a assignment of the lease with the premises uh, of the current owner. And uh, if the uh, approval is allowed, uh, they begin operations sometime in November. They are doing work in the premises now, mostly cosmetic work, because it's been a restaurant. So uh, if you have any questions of Mr. Chen, Thank you, Attorney Bovier. Um, Secretary Pai, who's the transfer from? It's um, the Korean barbecue place. No, who had it? Wh who's, who's doing the transfer? Who had the license? Korean, Korean, their Korean barbecue as well. Okay. The place that had it yeah. was also Korean barbecue, but they never opened the doors. Oh, okay, that's yeah. right, I get you. All right, thank you, I appreciate that, okay. Yes, Commissioner. That was owned by uh, the party that was before us before. I know. The Burger Place. Mr. Right? Cr no, uh, Commissioner Krieger was interested because he, one of those gentlemen that was opening was a fighter pilot in Korea. Yes. That's right. And. Uh, That's correct. He, Cliff, Cliff wanted to talk to him. Uh, I get but it. that, they never really Open. put it all together. No, they, they, they entered into a lease with the landlord. My clients have taken an assignment of the lease, and we, uh, my clients are a separate entity, and they have a franchise that they tend on operating when they open. Okay. Got it. You're doing a lot of work in there in the last couple of weeks. It's really coming along. 
looks good. I think it's going to be a great addition to downtown. I really do. Yeah. Uh, before we get to a public hearing, any uh, questions or comments from the board? I want to comment. I'd like to thank Attorney Bovere for the presentation, and I look forward to trying the food there. I want to thank you for locating at that place. Very well. At this time, we'll open up the public hearing. Anybody like to speak in opposition? 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 Hearing no one, that portion of the public hearing is closed. At this time, we'll open up the public hearing. Anybody like to speak in favor? In favor? In favor? Hearing no one, that portion of the public hearing is closed. Motion on the floor by Commissioner Donahue. It's seconded by Commissioner Krieger to approve. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Attorney Bove, Mr. Chen, want to wish you the best of luck downtown. I think you're going to be a great addition. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Good night. Thank you. Application for second-hand motor vehicles used car dealer, class two, for Prime Motors Corporation, Fernando Guimaraes, owner, for premises at 511 Middlesex Street, an open lot, approximately 4,000 square feet with one story building, approximately 750 square feet. Premises are currently licensed to New England Auto Mall with the condition of a maximum number of eight cars. Good evening, state your name for the record. Good evening. Pull down your mask and just get to the microphone, that'd be great, thank you. Yes. State your name. Uh, my name is Michael Souza. Uh, this is Fernando Guimarães. How are you? Okay, so tell us about your new business. Yes, so uh, we are doing an application to open a car dealership in 511 Middlesex Street, over here in Lowe. Uh, we have uh, 10 years experience with cars, and for the last almost six years, we have been working together as a manager for a big store, two different big stores. I used to be a manager of one, he used to be a manager of the other one, and then we decided to open a business together now. And uh, we know the old owner of this, uh, uh, the old owner and the owner of the land. So uh, we, we saw the opportunity and now we are going to do the business together and, and, and do the best we can to, because we see a, a good opportunity over here in, in Low. Uh, I live in Millis, which, which it is uh, next to Framingham, one hour away, he lives in Medford. We're planning to move to Low now because uh, we like the town, and, and now we start. We we think about to move uh, our family over here. I'm married. He's married. We have kids, and uh, we're thinking about to move to Low and grow up the business over here. Very done. Very very nice. Um, so understand that there's a maximum of eight cars on the lot. Uh, eight. Yes. Okay. We understand each other there. Okay. Um, questions or comments from the board? Yes. Commissioner Kriga. What's the difference between Middlesex Street and Arch Street? Uh, Middlesex actually uh, is, is, is uh, Arch Street just go around. Yeah. Middlesex is start in the middle and then go away. So we are in 511, it's right in the beginning. So Arch Street go around the Middlesex. And Middlesex is right in the middle and start from over there and then go away for, for the, the numbers, the highest numbers. Are the uh, that's a, a quite a, a strange arrangement. Are the customers going to be able to uh, find your location? Yes, and uh, we already up update the, the Google Maps and the iPhone Maps, so to make it easier, we send emails to them, and they, yesterday they update everything. So we take pictures from the street, we update the maps from Google Maps and from uh, iPhone Maps to make it easier to the customers. We did yesterday. And social media and the whole thing, right? Social media, yes. We have a, a website. Uh, actually, about the, the the GPS for to people locate the store was a little bit hard, but we were, we were, tra we were trying for the last month, send emails and take pictures. And yesterday, they said it was approved. Now, it's easy to find. And uh, the social media, we have a website. Uh, we have Facebook. We have uh, Instagram. And uh, we promote in low. We bring in people to buy cars from Maine, from other locations, we are talking to people that we know that has car dealerships in Framingham. So, so turn them over fast and get them in. Get them in and get them out, right? 
Yes. Got it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I was in the business. <laughs> good, good luck to you guys. Thank you. Um, questions or comments? Any? Commissioner Howe. Your application seems to be in order, but it states that you've never held this license before, but you've stated that you worked in the business for 10 years. Yes. Could you expand on that? What, what were your duties and responsibilities? Yeah, I, I, I used to be only a manager. I, I was not an owner, and he used to be a manager too. We were working for somebody else, and now we are trying to do our own business because we have like a know-how of 10 years already. So we decide we, we choose low, and when we see opportunity over here, a small place, don't, we don't need a big space uh, to work with few customers to start. And, uh, but uh, we, th that's the first time that we're going to be owners. Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Donahue? Okay, Commissioner Krieger. Move for approval. Move for, move for approval by Commissioner Krieger. Seconded by Commissioner Donahue. All in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. Any aye. opposed? Motion carries. Gentlemen, good luck to you. Hope you do well. Thank you. All right. Have a good day. Ready? Motion by Commissioner Donahue. Request Lowell Police Department designate a representative to appear at all licensed commission meetings per past practice. Commissioner Donahue. Thank you. Uh, as we all remember, prior to the pandemic, we had a representative here at every uh, meeting, and we were able to tap them for uh, information on certain businesses or events that were coming up in the city. Uh, now that I think the city is opening up, uh, bars are staying open later at night, uh, we're going to be seeing more activity, and I think it's good to start a referral again with this, the uh, police department just so that uh, we're ahead of them. Any problems that may crop up. And uh, so I, I think that I'd like to have the superintendent have somebody here as we did before to amend it. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Krieger, thoughts? I fully agree. Commissioner I think oh, sorry. Commissioner Donahue summed it up for us. Commissioner Howe. I'd like to thank Commissioner Donahue for bringing this forward. I agree. Um, I absolutely agree with Commissioner Donahue as well. Um, I would ask uh, Commissioner Donahue, if we do have an agenda that is um, let's say it's a light agenda and the three or four agenda items and their one day licenses. And knowing that the agenda comes out on Tuesday and it's sent to uh, Superintendent Richardson uh, for his representation, if the department has no... Uh, um, I, have, I have no problem if, if with our light agendas are uncontroversial. Right, I, I would think if they, have a, if they have a position they'd like to state against uh, that one day license, then they should be present? I think so, and maybe uh, if we felt that we needed them for some additional information, we could convey that through the secretary. I agree, absolutely agree. Secretary Pitas, we good with that? Absolutely. Very good, sir. Are we gonna vote? Uh, yeah, I'd have a roll call on that. Commissioner Dakota. Yes. Commissioner Donahue. Yes. Commissioner Howe. Yes. Commissioner Krieger. Yes. Four in favor. Motion None by Commissioner Krieger to adjourn. Seconded by Commissioner Donahue. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Thank you very much. Sometimes it goes so fast. <laughs>